Hey, what's up? Todd here with Film Bodega, and uh, we're back with another free thing. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. It's a Mogart file that you can use in Premiere to get some cool glitchy trailer slate type effects. I'm just going to show you some fun ways to use it to kind of make some pretty hype looks in a short matter of time. And hopefully it's uh, pretty easy to follow along. And I mean, it's, it's free, so, you know. Probably ought to mute Slack. Here's the trailer. And as you can see, when I kind of scan through it, there's a bunch of different looks. And I just want to show you how we landed at some of those looks. If you don't know how to install a Mogurt, we've got plenty of videos that explain that. We'll link to one of them below. Uh, but I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and skip past that part because it's really pretty straightforward. And so once you've got your Mogurt in your central graphics panel, we'll just drag it down and uh, let's just look at some of the options here. So one thing I will say about this Mogurt is that it does look kind of its best when it's in a different blend mode than normal. So I usually set it to just add. And then I also really like to have something underneath it. Uh, but if you wanna like generate your own sort of glitchy stuff, there's like a lot of really cool ways to do that now. Um, a lot of weird like AI kind of tools and stuff. Like I've been playing around with this thing called Art Breeder a little bit. If you if you sign in onto it and just go to like create and we'll do um, albums and then you can select whether you want like a still image or an animated image. And uh, so like we'll just click on animate. We'll just create a new one. And so you get to the screen here and you just hit this plus button. And you just add these different, uh, I think they're called jeans in the, in the, on the site. They're like jeans. So it like uses it for um, sort of blending together. So you can just like select weird stuff. So like, um, I like ones that sort of have words and textures like that. And you just, you know, you can just click on it and just keep hitting that plus button and add a bunch of them. Um, I like this one. I like them when they're kind of a little more sparse. We'll just keep adding different weird stuff. And you can even like select how it fades in between, like different ease, um, you know, curves, things like that. And you can select how long each of them stay on screen. You can hit apply all and it just kind of does it on itself. And then, uh, yeah, you just hit generate. So I've got 12 seconds, 288 frames, and I'll just hit generate. And it says video is processing and you'll receive an email with the link when it's ready. So I'll hit okay for now and we'll check back in on that later. So for now, I'm just gonna drop in this color noise that I've got and I'll just put it underneath. And uh, see now you can see where that, that, uh, that add blend mode really helped. And we'll just do a little bit of, I'll do an RGB curves on that footage. And I'm gonna bring it down a lot. I, I almost want it like, nearly invisible i just want to have like that, a little bit of that little flavor there so i'm going to drop this the the overall brightness down quite a bit add a little bit of contrast back in and let's just do um, let's just make it like really blue we'll pull out the red and we'll add in some green i want the red almost entirely gone when you click on the mogart file here uh, you'll see you got top text bottom text you can change the tracking uh, so the kind of the kerning of each title, which is nice. All your standard text tools are all in here, which is nice. Let's say you're going for a VHS look. Just click on that little button right there. And now we've got kind of that, a wobbly VHS look. And then down here, we've got glow options. We can make it like super glowy, super, super glow. You can change the glow radius, glow threshold. And then we've got top text fuzziness. So that's kind of like how much of that sort of, uh, it's kind of, you know, when you turn it up to a certain level, it's unreadable. So I just put, you know, if you scale up the text, you might want to add a little bit more fuzziness because when you scale it up, the fuzziness kind of goes down a little bit. It gets a little bit sharp. And then this glitch noise. So you can see these little hot spots on the text itself. These little hot spots are what that's talking about. So if you want to make it where those are kind of occurring less often, but maybe bigger, you just scale that up. If you want it way more, um, like right in there, you're just gonna have like really shimmery kind of looking text. This is a cool thing, flash on toggle. So I'm gonna go to the very beginning of the graphic and you see how it kind of starts a little bit bigger and closer up to the screen. Well, if you turn that off, it just doesn't do that. So one thing that I really love to do with the VHS look is I like to start it not there. And I like to come in here and uh, 
just cut like a little portion in the middle. And then for the little portion in the middle, I'll hit, um, I'll turn on our VHS look. And so when you render it, you get this kind of like little section of, and you, you can support that with sound design. I heavily recommend sound design, especially like you could, you could pull me going, you know, uh, feel free to use that in whatever you want. So here's that art breeder stuff I was playing around with before. So you can see it just makes kind of weird trippy looking visuals and stuff. Yeah, they're just trippy and weird. And uh, yeah, I think we can play around with that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna just scale it up so it fills up the frame. And let's, let's kind of, let's mess it up. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for, let's pull in a Lumetri effect and we'll just grab that and um, let's go ahead and pull out most of the saturation. I'm gonna take a curves. We're gonna drop it way down. So it's just really dark and crunchy. And then we're gonna go to effects. We're gonna find channel invert, boom. And now we've got like a, a dark background thing. And we'll, uh, let's go ahead and just speed that up like 300%. So we've got like a, we've got like an invert and we're just playing around with curves till we get a look that we kind of like. So let's take that, we'll, we'll grab an, the other one we made, put it right after, and uh, we'll just do copy, paste attributes, keep all of those in there. Let's see what we got. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and speed this one up even more. So let's go for like 700. We'll select our Art Breeder Clips, right click, nest, so let's take that and we'll drag on our our new uh, Mogur here. And we'll just, like I said before, we'll set that to add. So let's just bring down the highlights so we can read our text really well. And we're still getting some nice texture in there. What I did in the trailer is I just had a adjustment layer across the entire top of the whole thing. And I like to do that just to make the look kind of married together pretty well. So I'll uh, drag that on top. And what I've got on this adjustment layer is a film convert layer, but we can kind of build that same look without a paid plugin. Let's just go to noise, search for noise. We'll grab noise and grain, throw it on top. Let's go up to like, let's make it pretty noisy. Let's do like 15, something like that. And we'll go for a curves. And you'll just kind of dial in a, a curves look that you like. Um, I'll just kind of feel it out, see what I can come up with here. I like nice contrast, a little bit of crunchiness, and uh, we'll pull down the blue. Yeah, see, now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. And yeah, so if you want to, you can change the fonts here. Um, just go for something totally different. Let's just like change it up. So uh, yeah, that's like a totally different look now uh, from the same Mogur. And if you want to, main color, that's just gonna change the overall vibe of the whole thing. So uh, let's make it orange. Boom, now you've got orange text, blue background, whole different look. Let's do like bold italic. There we go. So here's what we got after rendering. Uh, I probably wouldn't go with the yellow if it were up to me, uh, but I don't feel like rendering it again. And I like this cool abstract background that we made with AI. It looks, it looks kinda, looks pretty sick. So yeah, download it, try it out. Let me know in the comments what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And so yeah, enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.